Uh -huh. I want to thank the drummers and everybody else on all the committees around here. You know, it's it's good to hear something like this, especially like me. Uh, 80 years old, and when you get that that old, you sort of forget things. It's sort of slide by then you're trying to figure out what's going on you know it's just like me now like what I say 80 years old I forgot a lot of things and when I was little they used to have a bunch of this in Omaha at my stepdad's place his name was Earl Alexander we used to have hand games there I did every every Saturday and Sunday. Instead of them guys coming back here, they stayed right in uh, right in Omaha. Louis Dick, you know, most all of them are uh, Louis Dick and all them older guys used to work at Butternut Coffee. And uh, when they when they worked there, they worked there for about I say five or six years. They stayed in Omaha. And uh, when they stayed in Omaha, they, that's when they come around the, down there where I used to live, down there on 7th and Seward. It was, uh, it used to be an old railroad place, railroad tracks and stuff. You know, it was pretty good. They uh, can have all the noise you get that's close to the river. You know, the Indians always did live close to the river. Where there's running water, they always live around there. And that's, that's probably what made my stepdad choose that place. You know, that's, that's good. When you got running water, we had Missouri River running down there. It was just about a couple blocks away. And that river was close. I never used to go fishing or or hunting for games. <clears throat> Everything was right there, close to the store, close to downtown. Everywhere we go, it was right there. Yeah, but down here, when you live out in the country like this, you got to go out and hunt for your game, <clears throat> hunt for your meat, hunt for yeah, just. Just about everything that you hunt for around here, peasants and stuff. But they use all that stuff. They use all that height and, and everything. But when I lived in Omaha, they threw everything away because it they had so much stuff around there. And they used to have, uh, I used to go pick oranges and apples right off the train. They had train go by and stuff. And they, we used to pick them right off in there. And you know what? It was good. And, uh, and we used to have a uh, little farm. We had hogs and stuff. And we used to pick up stuff like that. Bananas, oranges. We had, we had everything. And uh, it was uh, joyful that where I lived at. We had chickens, ducks, geeses. But the only bad thing about living on a, where and having geeses like that, them geeses will trace you. And then, uh, bite you like a little puppy, like, uh, but it hurt it though, you know, and it, it was good. And, uh, I want to thank each and every one of us is here. I'm going to say a little blessing over this food. And you know, that's, Something I never hardly do. Something this is new to me. Is just like what I say. I lived in Omaha and we had all that stuff around her. We had hand games and stuff like that. And you know, I, I never used to make any blessings or anything. This is the first time. And it's, it's good. It's good that they asked me to do something like this. And that's a good feeling. You know, it makes your heart clearer. 
clear out when you have something like this. And that's wonderful. Because, you know, it's uh, awful hard to get food anymore. Uh, my, wife and I had, my wife and I had 13 kids. Out of 13 kids, you know, I had to work hard. I had to give up my drinking and work. Feed the kids. No, that's that's a good feeling when you have a lot of kids like that. Now I moved back on a reservation. Lord, I got one one child with me. My daughter, she feeds me, keeps me going. That's good. At least I had one up and keep going. Makes you feel good when you have a lot of kids, but one of them still sticks with you. You know, that's a great thing that they have, but I got a bunch of kids around here. And I have a, I have a bunch of kids, they like it around here. I said, uh, I want to move back to Omaha. That's where I'm usually from. I said, I want to move back to Omaha. They said, no, Grandpa. I said, no. I said, we want to stay around here. And I got one that sings all the time. His name's Stormy. You guys probably know him. And he's good. And he was like, he's the one that comes around the house, singing around the house. I say, shut up. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, he keeps going. He keeps going real good. It's good. You know, and that's a good feeling when you get something like that. And I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, coming around. Because uh, I figured to be a lot more people on this, but there, there isn't. But it's good enough. It's like it's a full house in a way. And you know, it's, it's a good thing when you get this many people. I, uh, I'm a churchman. I go to pilgrimage. meetings. Sometimes there's only about four or five when they start. You know, by the time we got through quitting, uh, we have a full house. Because uh, everybody comes to hang game first, then go, then go to church. But you know what? When, when they do that, it's good to see them people come in. It's good to help us pray. It's good to talk to God. Because, you know, it's good when you talk to God once a day or once a week. But you get a good feeling when you do that. Uh, and that's a great thing. Just like what I say, I ain't got very much to... Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a good feeling. It's It's nice. Uh, I want to say uh, a little prayer. I want to say a little prayer for for this. You know, it's it's good. It's good that we have something like this. All right. Heavenly Father, bless this food. Bless all, all the food that we got here. All this food is hard to get. And I want to thank you. For bringing all this down to us down here, to this group, to this meeting, to this hanging, you know, these singers. That makes uh, these singers, especially that big drum we got right there, makes this place sort of bounce around like. And uh, that's a good feeling that you get when you're legs are bouncing with the drum. Father God, thank, thank you for everything that we shall have right here. Thank you for bringing all these people around here. And I want to thank you. Thank each and every one of you for hearing me talk. Thank you. Serve, you know, I want to thank uh, everybody, the singers, everyone sitting around the drum now, uh, this lady uh, filming the, <clears throat> the activity, 
and especially a special thanks to uh, Mr. Carringer who did the poster for us. You know, it's a really uh, nice poster that we had. I hope we had, I wish we had more of we could keep it for souvenirs, but we just had enough to go around to the different communities here. So uh, we're going to have to ask for some help to uh, have served the food here and uh, we'll adjourn here as soon as they're finished here. If uh, my MC said, yeah, that's all right. Okay. But we'll, we'll ask for some help to serve the food here.